Welcome back. Good afternoon. I'm Jared Moffer with Moffer Cattle Service. We're here today looking at a set of heifers that we're going to be breeding tomorrow. I'm here with Luke Bradford. Luke Bradford was ST Genetics. Part of that company is Sex and Technologies, where they do sexed semen. And they've been doing this since, uh, I guess, early since uh, early 2000s. So, Luke, tell us a little bit about the sex semen process and how we go from a bull through artificial insemination and then to the revolutionizing of the sorting process. Yeah, so ST Genetics, the company that I work for, we, we own the technology and the patents for uh, uh, sex sorting semen. So, uh, very innovative technology where we're able to sort male and female sperm cells and by doing that we give both dairy and beef producers the option of producing uh, both genders whichever they have uh, uh, the desire to produce usually there's a, a fin financial incentive to, to produce more of one gender than the other uh, certainly for the dairy industry but also for the beef industry and this technology is not necessarily new but um, a lot of the advancements have come in recent years have really improved uh, the effectiveness and the fertility of this product and so particularly for beef producers it has a lot more application today than it did just a few years ago and so um, so whether you're a seed stock producer whether you're a commercial producer uh, like I said usually there's some financial incentive to produce more of one gender than the other and sex semen allows producers to do that and so the neat thing about the technology is in AI you have the ability to give every female the opportunity to become pregnant on the first day of breeding season. And there's a lot of advantage in doing that. On top of that, sex semen lets you produce the gender that you have the, the highest financial incentive to produce. And so it's just another reproductive tool in the toolbox for uh, beef producers and dairy producers. And uh, if you look around the world, a lot of our uh, competition from around the globe in terms of protein, um, uh, countries like Brazil, uh, they have a very, very high adoption rate of these technologies, reproductive, te reproductive technologies such as IVF and AI. And uh, so it's really important that uh, American beef producers, U.S. beef producers, uh, take advantage of these e reproductive tools so they can be more efficient and compete uh, on a global stage with some of our competition elsewhere. Can you um, explain to these high school students that's going to be watching this video, when you're talking about a commodity market and some of these offspring, these sexes, bring more dollar value than others. Can you go into a little bit of detail for these high school students who don't follow the commodity markets or wouldn't understand anything about the commodity market and give them some ideas on the kind of some historical prices on what steers bring versus what heifer brings as far as the open market and how that all plays a part in the beef world. Yep. And then switch over on that side and talk a little bit about that on the dairy side, please. Yeah, so uh, unfortunately right now our world's been kind of turned upside down by this virus that we're dealing with. but. If you look back over the last five years, um, historically steers have brought uh, over $20 per hundredweight more than their heifer counterparts. And so for a co commercial producer, uh, if I'm a commercial producer, I have a lot of incentive to produce more male calves. Uh, that's because according to a lot of data uh, from places like uh, the King Ranch Institute and Cattle Facts, um, steer calves can wean off uh, 40 to 50 pounds heavier than their heifer mates. Uh, they do command those better uh, prices in the market. And then um, I have feedlot background, and from a feedlot perspective, uh, those cattle perform better. Um, you don't have to manage them quite so much with things like uh, MGA and things like that. And so they're also a, a big benefit to the feeder as well. And so um, a, a, a commercial producer can use male sex semen in their program uh, to get as high as 75% uh, uh, of their calf crop born as bulls, which then become steers. And those steers, again, are gonna wean off heavier. They're gonna bring better prices uh, in a normal cattle market. Uh, again, things are kind of turned upside down today with the cattle market, but uh, hopefully it'll return to normal sooner than later. Uh, and then on the dairy side, it's, it's very straightforward. Um, dairymen can't milk a bull calf, and so they have a huge incentive to produce more heifers. They can uh, genomic test their top cows, breed those cows to uh, the best genomic dairy sires to sex semen to get that next generation of replacements and then they can either breed uh, their bottom end cows to conventional dairy semen or uh, what's become very popular is to use conventional beef or even male beef semen on those lower end cows to produce higher value uh, terminal cattle. Luke, thank you so much for your time and trouble. Do we have any questions from the camera person?
how accurate is the sorting process between male and female yeah, so sperm cells? Yes, a good question. Um, the gender accuracy or gender purity, as we call it, is uh, 90%. Um, so theoretically, if you have uh, 100 females pregnant to sex semen, you can expect 90% uh, of those to be the gender that you selected for in that semen. Um, another obviously big question we get is, you know, I mentioned the fertility has improved, so what can I accept for cons uh, ex what can I expect for conception rates? And um, today with this new product we call Sext Ultra, uh, increased fertility, um, it takes some different management, uh, it takes some different protocols, but you can achieve equal conception rates using sex semen today. Uh, like I said, it just takes some different management and some different protocols, uh, which we can recommend to producers to use those. Perfect. Any other questions? Mm. All right. If y'all have any questions on, give us a shout. Jared Mumford's Mumford Cattle Service. And again, beef, it's what's for dinner. Mm.